Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha. If you're new here, I do fragrance reviews, a little bit of beauty and style. So if you enjoy that type of content, please take a minute to subscribe. You can also follow me on my Instagram, which is Sasha Nichols Style. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of perfumes from a brand that I really, really enjoy, and that is Dossier. If you're not familiar with Dossier, they actually create perfumes inspired by many popular perfumes that we all know and love. And I'm really excited to be talking about these two particular perfumes from Dossier. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the first one. And let me just show you what the packaging looks like. It comes in this brown box, has their logo in the front. And then when you open it, it talks a little bit about the company, how it is vegan, cruelty free, created in France. And then there's a card enclosed that talks about what notes are in this perfume. You'll notice inside there is a 50 ml bottle of their perfume as well as a little sample. And the reason they put samples in their boxes along with the perfume is that you can try it out. So you can see how it works with your chemistry, if you like it or not, and if for any reason you don't like their perfume, you can return it for a refund, but as long as you don't open the main bottle, just use the sample that came along with it. And then what's also really nice is all the notes are printed on their bottle. Now this particular perfume is called Oriental Oak Moss, and it is the dupe for Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. And let me tell you, they did an amazing job with this. And I actually have the original sample of Coco Mademoiselle, so I'm able to compare these two. But you'll notice it's very nice and minimalistic type of bottle. It's got a great light cap. The cap is magnetized, so it shuts automatically, which is really fun. And then let's go ahead and talk about this perfume, and then we'll make the comparison. It has a really nice sprayer, does a really light mist. In the opening on the top there, you get the bergamot, orange, and peach. In the middle, there's the jasmine, rose, and patchouli. You do pick up on that patchouli right away when you spray this. You do also get a little bit of that bergamot and peach. Not so much, I don't smell a lot of the orange. And then in the base, there's the oak moss, the vanilla, and the vetiver. Now, what I really like about this fragrance is that it almost has kind of that aquatic feel to it as the original one does as well. It smells amazing. Now, let's go ahead and compare the two. Let me grab another little paper here and we'll spray the original. Hmm. I would say they're about 95% the same. Now with the original, it smells a little bit more sweet when you first spray it. But when it starts to air down, they get more and more similar. Both have that kind of, that, in my opinion, that aquatic feel to it. I don't know what it is. But yes, they do smell a lot, a lot alike. Now let me talk about the performance on their perfumes. They are made with really high quality ingredients. It's very long lasting. Their perfumes typically last six plus hours on my skin, longer on the clothes. Projection is always very good. Passed in arm's length and the sillage is always very nice with their fragrances. It just leaves this beautiful trail. People are gonna notice this. And I, I'm telling you, people are gonna honestly think that you're wearing the original Coco Mademoiselle with this because it smells so much like the original. All right, let's move on to the next one that I have that I'm very excited about talking about, and that one is Oriental Cherry. Now, this one is a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now, I don't have anything to compare this with. I've never smelled Lost Cherry before, so I can't tell you anything about differences between the two, the similarities, or anything. So I'm just primarily gonna be talking about this perfume, the notes, what I think about it now, I have been wearing this off and on, and I'll tell you that the performance is outstanding. 
So let's go ahead and spray a little bit and I'll talk about the notes in this. And you get a cherry note right off the bat. As soon as you spray this, you smell cherry and it is a sweet cherry. It's not tart. It's very, very pleasant. There's also almond in this and you're going to pick up on that right away. And some cinnamon gives it a little bit of some spiciness to it. I really like it. It's very subtle though, so it's not a very strong cinnamon smell at all. And then the base, you get a little more spice. Maybe you get some cloves, some rose, jasmine, and plum. And you'll definitely pick up on that plum. It's really, really nice. The clove is very minimal in here. You're going to get a little more of the cinnamon than you will the clove, although it is detectable. And then in the base, there's Peru balsam, some tonka bean, and vanilla. So overall, a really, really, really nice scent. I think this one is extremely nice. And like I said, I've never smelled the original Lost Cherry, so I can't compare. But from what I smell on this one, the Oriental Cherry, I absolutely love it. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this one. As far as performance, great performance on this. The longevity is fantastic, six to eight hours, if not longer. Projection, again, it's passing arm's length. It's one of those fragrances that will definitely enter a room before you do. It doesn't stay that way. I would say the first hour is very prominent and it gets a little closer to you. Although it's not a skin scent, people are still gonna be able to smell this on you. And then as far as the sillage, it's beautiful. When it warms up with the skin, you still have that cherry, a little bit of almond, kind of that nuttiness to it. And then that vanilla really kind of gives it some depth and some sweetness with that plum. It's an all around gorgeous fragrance. I'm gonna put a link to their website in the description box so that you can personally check them out. I'll put a code in there as well so you can save some money. Their classic perfumes, is $29 and their niche fragrances are $39. Again, it is the 50 ml bottle. You're getting a great, great deal and then you get my discount on top of that. So definitely give them some love, check them out. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with all the different fragrances they carry. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my video. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay beautiful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know the next time that I upload. See you soon.